But Andy, man, what did you think of um, Canelo's fight? That's so crazy because I'm going, I'm probably going to go see him November 16. Um, they invited me over there so to the convention center. So we'll In be England? Out there. In Mexico City. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, what did you think of Canelo's performance? I thought it was amazing, man. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. He was going to bully him. He was going to pressure him. Um, basically, he was just a wall that couldn't do nothing, you know? So he, but shout out to Caleb Plant because he took all the shots, bro. Almost every shot until basically the last rounds. He was throwing some like jabs, but it just seemed like there was nothing on him at all. Like no, Canelo because of all down. the punches on the arm, on the kidney, everything is breaking down little by little. But I thought it was gonna be over like in the seventh round. But it seemed like when the eleven started though, the way Canelo came out, like he's like, oh, "This is it." Like I'm going for a minute, for it. I got a little nervous because I thought Canelo was getting a little frustrated, a little, a little tired. Um, but. I think he was just using nothing but haymakers. All these punches were haymakers. Boom, boom. I could hear him, and it was crazy. And what, what's up for with, for you next? For Besides me, your trip to Mexico, um, I'm just waiting for them to to the doctor to tell me that I, that to give me the green light, basically to fight. So I'm ready to fight February, the end of January. So the main thing I'm just trying to stay in shape and yeah, get in good. shape, you know. Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah man. and um, I mean, who are the names you want out there right now? There's a lot of there's a lot of names right now. A lot of people are saying with Wilder, if he comes back, I know, and he's gonna have a lot of time off, so let let him relax and all that. There's Ortiz. There's there's a lot, bro. There's a lot of fighters out there. Dylan White. I know there's some some clause with um, Tyson Fury for the WBC bout, but I'm just trying to be in the mix, so I'm just trying to stay can, in shape and get ready. Can White beat? Um, Fury, do you think? I don't think so. I think why it's too slow. Um, it's a little wild. But like I said, it takes only one punch to change the whole fight. So anybody could do it. If I did it, I'm pretty sure anybody yeah, else man. could do it. What about um, Usyk and Joshua? Were you surprised at that fight? I was really surprised. I didn't think it was going to go down like that. I thought Anthony Joshua was going to bully him, was going to back him up, uh, move around. But I felt like, like, like they said, he didn't have a game plan. But I'm pretty sure for the rematch, he's gonna do a lot better. What have you heard about the rumor that he might go with Eddie? Like, I mean, no, also. that's what we're talking about, huh? Yeah. yeah it that would be crazy if he does go and shit. You I'm guys not gonna spar. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be a hater. I'm not gonna be nothing. I'm gonna be, you know, like teammates, you know? Yeah. But if it happens. Know, if it happens, but I yeah. doubt it's not gonna happen. Actually, he talked about it. I, Eddie Hearn was with him tonight. Okay. And I said, what do you think about that? And he was like, that would be great. He liked the idea. Yeah. What, what is it about Eddie? Because, you know, Eddie Reynoso, that is, that, you know, he had Canelo for so long, but it was just Canelo. He had a couple fighters here and there. But then all of a sudden, man, he's like the hottest guy in boxing. He is. Everybody wants to go over there because of the hard training, bro. And like I said, it's really, really hard, bro. Really hard. Besides and that, does he have a, a certain way he motivates that maybe other trainers don't have or I think we all I think in, in that gym we all motivate each other so we all try to give advices we all talk shit here and there and you know just playing around but uh, motivating each other you know and being around different champions and people that I want to be successful and be like someone else like we're trying to be like like Canelo and try to be in his level but you know there's there's time and sweat and Blood and well, tears. let me ask this question then. If he does go train with Eddie and he rematches <laughs> Usyk, do you think we get a different fight? I mean, it would only be one camp, <coughs> but still. Um, do you think he I, has what it takes to maybe make adjustments? Yeah, um, of course. Anthony Joshua is still a beast, man. I think he just went in there with the wrong game plan. And I think for this for this fight, for the rematch, I think he needs to box around and, and learn how to counter punch, you know? Learn how to counter punch. And when you throw a punch, move move while you throw in the punch, stuff like that, you know? And I feel that's what they need to teach him. But shout out to Anthony Joshua, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before, before I let you go, they're talking about Oscar Valdez and uh, Navarrete. What do you think about if he moved up and they made that fight? That would be an awesome fight, man. Oscar's a hell of a guy and he's a beast, bro. Andy, I can ask you one question. If Tyson Fury, you fought him and he tried to put you in a chokehold and lean on you, what would you do? If Tyson Fury puts me on a chokehold mm -hmm. and lean on me, um, I don't know. There's How a lot of there's a lot of different tricks, okay, dude. But go. there's a lot of different tricks. But um, but just you know, buckle down and get back up. There's no point of of trying to lean back up and 
it's just, just it's just too much force. Yeah, it's too much force to trying to get back up and all that. What would happen if every time he did that, you just fell down? <laughs> After a while, isn't the ref gonna have to do something? I'm serious, like. But every every time he'll do that, think about it. His whole body's gonna be open. Yeah. I could be throwing like three, four punches <laughs> at that time while he's doing that. But like Tyson Fury, he's a hell of a guy, man. He's 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 a man right now, you know. Yeah. Nothing bad to say like, about him or. I like Wilder's plan for the body. It really threw Tyson Fury off. Yeah. yeah. And you're that's, with that. that's what something will be different against me, and and I, I think I, I I fight better with taller guys, so. But like I said, anything could happen. All right, Andy. Stay ready. Thanks for your time, bro.